Hello everybody, back again. This time we're going to play some Hogwarts Legacy. And, oh, there's a Tony over there. All right, picking up where we left off in Hogsmeade. Butsing around, trying to find things. Okay. I just still need to visit a few places. So I did the um I did the butterfly already. Okay. I'm not allowed to leave town. I would assume. <coughs> huh. Alright, and I did this. Did I get this one? Lumos. Did not. Oh, this is outside of town, it looks like. Hmm. Don't mind me. Oh, got the flu right there. See a chest inside this house. My knee. Oh, it's locked. Level three. Oh, I don't have that spell yet, even. All right, where am I going? We can get a haircut. Haircut. I already got the wand. Oh no, this is the something else. Got the wand already. The joke shop, three broomsticks, in butterbeer, Ollivanders, sporting goods store, tomes and scrolls. Uh, that's where you need to go, right? Dog's head, honey dukes. Ooh, a T. Center square. Oh, I can't get there. Interesting. Okay. Seeds. Interesting. Potions. Where do I need to go again? <clears throat> I need to go potions, scrolls, and neeps. Okay. So, potions. Scrolls and me. Uh, why don't we just start down here and work our way up? <laughs> Tony! He can't get in because there's a baby gate there, but he likes to open the door. <laughs> oh. Ooh, black rivet gloves. Got my metal style going on here. Let's see here. Ooh. Kind of cool. I need to be level 8 before I can put on some of this other stuff. Lower High Street. Here I go. An inquiring mind. And I leave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What did you say to me, old man? <laughs> oh. Okay. Does this door just lead right back outside? Huh. Ah. Interesting. Revelio. The chests in there. Behind the counter and steal your stuff. 
Don't mind me. Hehehehe. <laughs> oh. <coughs> ah, oh, as soon as I get close, it's gonna close. All right. Steel blue robe. Rebellion. Nothing else in here. Oh, what's outside? There. Am I able to get up there? <sighs> Wigan Weld Potion. Oh, creepy. <laughs> All right. Checking out books? Is that what's going on here? Ah, cool. Alright, I shall talk to you. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. We'll impress That's everybody. To aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want <laughs> when you want. Let's have a look. Got something I'll be growing. We have, shall we? Potting table, a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Potion station. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station. Perfectly suited to all your potion brewing needs. What else we've got in here? Beast feeder. Beast toy box. Chopping station. Periodically produces a plant byproduct, so keep an eye on it. Hmm. Fertilizer. Popping pot. Periodically brew a random selected potion. Interesting. Make moonstone. Do I get to like just like have like slight base building kind of stuff in it? I have no idea. Grow <laughs> all sorts of useful magical plans. Two medium pots, three medium pots, three small pots. Five small pots, medium potion station, and a T-shaped potion station. <laughs> this. Ah, so, I guess with my meager funds, oh, it cost me nothing. Okay. Purchase. Nothing like finding. Just if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, stuff is expensive. Ooh. I, think I can afford anything. I can afford a three small pot spellcraft, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay. Old fool. And in building. That's where I came to town. Ooh, a plant shop for all magical flora and seeds. All right, well, I'm down here. Let's go check out the joke shop. And then we'll go over to the potions and then up to the seeds, huh? <clears throat> Must get a lot of snow here. Very, 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 very slanted roofs. This is like it's like Scandinavia slanted. <laughs> Ooh, hello, 
joke shop. Is there anything flying around in here? Okay. Magical balloon. Hey. Automatically wrapping. Ooh. Rebellion. Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. Crazy. Frogs. Rebellion. I'm seeing dropping coins every so often. Huh. You drinking stuff in here? Did you pay for that? <laughs> Okay, well, nice little distraction. I'm gonna check out my air deal. Is there a thing here at this well? Rebellion. Water well. The savvy traveler knows that some water wells may have more to offer than this relatively innocuous water well in the village of Oxmead. Six of eight. Oh, so close to level 8. Alright. Hello. Whoa. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. <laughs> Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that. Muggle with consumption, sort of, death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd <laughs> like to look? You can change your hair too, if you'd like. What services do you offer? <clears throat> Just let me redo. Okay, it takes 20 money units. 20 money units. I can even change... Hair color and all of these things. Well, I think I'm fine with just leaving my hair the way it was. I thought that was the sound of a dog in the background, but it's not. Bored. It's the uh, basic training haircut. <laughs> <clears throat> Rotate. Rotate. Anyway, no thank you. I think I'll leave it the way I have. You can stop by any time. Sure. 
Oh, there it is. No, I thought I heard a, a martyr, martyr and pestle. I was like, what? <laughs> Dolls are creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. I can change my appearance. So let's go to the potion shop. Potions. <clears throat> Locked house. Oh. Don't mind me taking money. There's a page flying around over there. Rebellion. Oh, there's a flu. Still try and cut me. <laughs> Alright, well, check the shop. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Loosen Crimson Lock Scarf. Ooh. A new scarf? Very cool. Other robes, same. No. Well appointed or well appointed. Blue. Yeah, I like this one. I'm a fancy man about the town. Anything else cool? Revelio. Good God. J. Pippin's Potions, established 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. <clears throat> Level 8! Which means I can now put on... Over here? In... Seven. I wasn't there. It was the hat, I think. You can put on it in this hat. And was there something else? Yeah, I can put on this one. Much, much more defense. Your neck wear, cloaks, and robes. Okay. Oh, I have my, all my different wand handles. Ooh. Real gray. So, what does this do exactly? These just. Oh. These look cool. Ooh, that one looks like. I'm going go with that one. Imperial gray and silver. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk to you and get my stuff. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. Pardon me. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service, and this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was <laughs> at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Mm. Is it not the most fascinating art <clears throat> of potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. Make people fall in love with you. <laughs> I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes. What can I do for you today? 
I get the Adurus Potion, cause a rocket film to develop on your skin, helping to protect you from harm. Okay, defensive. Wigan Wield, there's a healing potion. He's also got focus. Reduce a spell cooldown. Damage potion. His ability. Ooh, I think I need that in order to get some of those chests. Increase spell damage. Stench of the dead. Manuals. These are just the actual potions themselves. Okay. Alright. A wise decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Got the money for your stuff. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. A wigan weathered. This guy was right around the corner, right? Seed place? Behind yeah, This way. Oh, hard work and good luck going handy hand. Let's see what kind of seeds we can get. Cheap. Well, hello there. What's oh, this guy again? Oh, hello there. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Is that what I need to make health guess. potions? You're after something fresh. Dittany. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, that's sweet. everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Not grass. Mallow sweet. Shrivel fig. Room of requirement items, huh? A new shoot rich compost can be added to plants to increase their wheat yield. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. The Magic Neat. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magical Neat. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Oh, can I go in your house? Nope. Hey, I completed my field guide. Oh, you know what? Do I have to go in there and I have to collect? Do something, right? Okay, so this one. Got that, I guess. Do I need to do anything? Some quest stuff. Exploration stuff. Embellishing stuff. So maybe it was the. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm maybe challenges. Field guide pages. Okay, yeah. So I got some things here. So I got flame rewards. This is from Hogsmeade. So there's some more to do there. Hogsworth. I need one more there to get that. I did get some gloves and some glasses. Might have that one yet. How about quests? Uh, I need one more assignment to do that. Uh, main story quests. Side quests. Awesome. 
Lucky Leprechaun Gloves. Don't have combat exploration or removal requirement stuff though. All right, well then. Get some new gloves. This goes up to eight. Uh, gold rimmed. Oh. Did not get a new piece of headwear, neckwear. No. <coughs> And outfit, no. Okay. Outpost. Collections. This thing I've collected now. These appearances in the gear menu. Oh, apply to gear. Oh, I can change the appearance of stuff. Okay, so then if I go to my gear list, how do I change change appearance? Interesting. Whoa. Did it cost anything? Whoa, radical. <laughs> Similar to what I'm wearing. Other. Okay, interesting. Sure. Ooh. Lightning bolt scarf. Charms. Keys. You know the keys one. Oops. Merlin's cloak. Hey, that's awesome. Charms for Sester cloak. No. With Merlin. Be cool looking. Uh, outfit. Cobalt regalia. Can't see it. About the gloves, what can I do here? Legendary gloves. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Learn something new. Alright, where meet Sebastian at the town circle? Is there any side quests I can do in here? I didn't really look. See a flu. Don't see any side quests. Okay. How in the world did people walk through? It's a bunch of owls. Where am I right now? Can I not get this flu flame right there? Currently unavailable. I wonder why it's currently unavailable. Revelio. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Oh, I got this. Alright, cool. And there's a chest in that house. I see a page right there. It's all the all the Oh, I just can't teleport now, that's why it's saying unavailable. Accio. Gotcha. Ooh, 
Whoa, what's going on over here? Rebellion. Honey Dukes. Honey Duke Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzing whiz bees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling the shop's wares. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Interesting. Okay, well. It's the outer post. Revelio. Magical mail. These shoots in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color-coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. Magical mail. Hmm. See more in there. Hmm. Is that outside this wall here? Must be, yeah. Wigan Wild Potion and Health Potions are never a bad thing. Me. I'm just a thief out and about town. Okay, Sebastian, here I come. Tony, you have a soda? Tony shouldn't have soda. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Just had a Tony managed to sneak in there and reach through his baby gate and grab some of the some sodas, just the cans. Session. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Uh oh. <sighs> that troll's wearing some armor of some sort. Dodge. 
I mean, it looks like it. Ooh. A taste of his own meds. He's faltering. Nicely. A few more hits to do the job. Invocation magic. Kamehameha. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I just disintegrated this Goodness. guy. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Whoa. Repair the damage. Ooh. Oh, uh, hello there. Um, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Uh, wizarding. Where? Hmm. Fine, leave me do all the work. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I mean, considering that you can, like, repair everything, and it's just a building. Luckily, they didn't hurt anybody. Kill anyone. I mean, look at this. I'm, like, a fifth year in, high, in like, high school. I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna rebuild a building. <laughs> um, so that's not too much of a worry. Oops. Oops, gotta be closer. Hmm. Oh, I thought there was a person there for a second. <laughs> it's like, oh damn! <laughs> no, it's not. It's the statue. <laughs> it's like, damn! Hogwarts Legacy got dark real quick. <laughs> um. Cool. Repair. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Whoa. Um, huh. I have a feeling this is not. <laughs> Ever hear that? Nope. <laughs> okay. I have done it. Well, it's probably a good thing there was no one inside of that house. Sadly, the idea is like, if you can like repair things, like you could straight up like read people's mail and then cast repair on it and return it to them. They never know it was opened and a ton of crazy stuff. With instant full. <sighs> Excuse me. Being able to instantly repair things to the state they were before they were destroyed. That's pretty, uh, there's a lot of things you could do with that kind of magic. <laughs> can I go in here? Irish and Bangles. Rebellion. Hello? Hello, hello? What do I have here? One of these guys. <clears throat> Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Revelio. Gladrag's mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means to display the interest, la the latest in wizarding fashion. I 
I have stolen some of your tea. <clears throat> what am I hearing? Oh, there it place itself. Anything over here? <clears throat> See a page flying around out there. Gear slots are full. <sighs> Gear slots are full. That is unfortunate. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. <coughs> Not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain <coughs> protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, <coughs> I'll give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, that's far too dangerous. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Sure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. <clears throat> Gear slots are full. Oh, God. All right, let's sell some of these graves. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. And it's zero. Cannot be upgraded. Let's get rid of that. Cannot be upgraded. Get rid of that. Cannot be upgraded. No magical properties. Let's hold on to that. Get rid of these ones that can't be upgraded or anything, and they're downgrades. Save that one because that can be upgraded. Upgraded. No. Okay. I wonder what he'd do if I sold it right back to him. Gear screen. <clears throat> Defense and offense. Select the cloaks and robes. Equip a robe. I'm wearing a robe. Um, I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Uh, dear, let me switch back to my... Good robe. Get rid of this low grade one. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Where is it? Sell the one that you just gave me. Oh, it's worth nothing. Oh, it's holding up inventory space. Okay. Ooh, defense 11. Damn. 13. <clears throat> Offense. Legendary. Any low price legendaries. I wonder if this is one of those things where I better not buy anything now because as I level up, these all will level up also. Be kind of more like, equivalent to my level. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Oh, I can try and steal this. Inventory was full. I, I, what? It wouldn't let me take it because my I had too much. I couldn't loot money Please, because it was too in. full. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Bye, my 
fist in your face for not letting me loot that stuff. <laughs> okay, well, off we go. Strange. <clears throat> you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <gasps> I'm right there. Let's go. Did they see us? Yeah. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> now, what can I... Oh... There's a face I haven't seen before. <clears throat> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... Oh. Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, mm -hmm. the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. <clears throat> the three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. But what if I could? <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? That I'm a badass. I promise to tell you everything. <laughs> but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I don't really know that it's the best idea to walk by ourselves through the countryside and back to the castle. <laughs> <laughs> And someone just literally just told me that they want to <laughs> kidnap me. Ooh, that's a drink. I'm just gonna drink some random person stuff. Revelio. <laughs> Here's something. Three broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan, 
and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the longest standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Getting close to level 9. Sweets. Food, food, food. Anything interesting up here? What about up here? Take somebody's money. And purple dragon eyed spectacles. New specs. Ooh, much better specs. Well, we change those because I don't want to look like a freak. Okay. Slightly better. It's a tall building. The stairs go up. Let's explore over here first. Way up here. Where does this go? Oh, right back outside. Just another way in, I guess. What's at the top? Locked door. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have, don't have the unlock spell yet. That would be very useful. I would level that thing up like crazy. Oh, sorry. Why would we walk home at night in the dark? Have to kill some people, aren't we? Um, hmm. Ashton, don't walk away from me. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rook. <clears throat> I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights, but we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. Uh, select the Hogwarts map button. Just select the Hogwarts map. Travel to your common room, which is in the grand staircase, right? Slytherin common room. Fast travel. I guess I can take the flu, huh? So I don't have to walk back. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Level up. What is this new item? Uh, on the bottom right, right above the potion slot in the health slot. Wild magic or something? Hmm. I've received a post. Um, this are updates from me, okay. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Bodega! Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Here I come to save the day. I need to walk there, it wouldn't be faster for me to actually teleport to his office. Oh, we're walking there now. What is this again? House oh, chess. Hmm. 
Hello, fellow students. Is that eyeball? Stop looking at me. <laughs> I don't like it when they look at me. Why don't we just do this? Why don't we make my life a lot easier and just teleport there, huh? Um, astronomy wing... He's not at his... Let's see, we're underneath. Well, I'm gonna teleport to his classroom. Worst comes to worst, I just go around. <clears throat> classroom he is teaching me the unlock spell Ooh. professor fig as if my schedule wasn't congested enough the ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at hogwarts a fifth year if you can believe professor weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins uh, i have assigned the task to you please see professor weasley for details this is from the headmaster Another one? Or are they talking about me? Oops. Okay. Up, 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 and up we go. Revelio. Anything cool in here? Got a nice office. Solar protection goggles. Sunglasses? <laughs> Um, oops, that was that. Inventory. Here. There we go. Um, glasses. Ooh, even... Wow, a lot better. Put those on. Change it so I don't look like a psycho. Okay. Well, I guess I have to wait. Oh, did I take a nap? And now he's here? <laughs> Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Probably. <laughs> um... Question. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Mm. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's <coughs> a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. 
Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Cool. The locket's secret. Oh, this is see a training opportunity beneath me beneath me further i see a chest above me hmm. interesting let's go see professor hackett see a quest above me hmm. Hello. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. <laughs> Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. An idea where to start. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. <laughs> Meet me back here if you find anything. Cool. Let's see. Outside. By the dragon statue outside. There's a door next to a tree. I need a pull. Sure off the wall. And go upstairs. Huh. Interesting. Well, I need to, to go downstairs. Downstairs to Professor Hecke. Oh. And further downstairs. Wait a minute here. What am I tracking right now? What am I tracking? I need to go to this incendio. That's cash. First landmark. There's another one over here. The Daedalian Keys. Okay, well. First of all, let's go and do this. Get this other magic spell. for a skeleton. I'm on the right track. So to go down. Down there, but I'll do that here in a bit. Oh, this castle is... There we go. Ah, his eyes. I believe we have some matters to discuss. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Mm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors mm. know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working <coughs> on the incendio. You okay. know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Play to write a spell combination practice with Luke and Brattleby. Revelio. Huh. Oh. 
Hebridean Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense. Oh, wait, I already saw this one. Interesting. I had gotten that once before. All right, well, I then have unlocked a new collect challenge, right? Field guide pages. Null hat appearance. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I think. I think that's actually probably a pretty good spot to stop for now. I'm gonna save. Get another save slot going. And I think. Hop off, eat some dinner, get ready for uh, running a D and D game tonight. So I'll do that. But until next time, I will uh, see you all later. Bye, everyone.